Miss Winston. Our project title is UV Sterilizer Box. I have a problem during this pandemic that I want to sterilize things that are not waterproof, such as worksheets and books from school. Since I cannot wash them or spray alcohol on them, what should I do? I heard that UV lights can sterilize things, but what kind of UV should I use? I have researched that there are three kinds of UV. UVA, UVB, and UVC. In my research, UVC can kill germs, bacteria, and viruses. But is it safe to be around a UVC light? No, because a UVC light is also harmful to people and animals. So how am I gonna make sure that I'm using it safely? Hmm, I think I'm gonna use this box. Imagine this is the UVC light and this is the book that I want to sterilize. And I'll put the UVC light inside the box on top. And it will just sterilize the top part of the book. But if I put it on the bottom part of the box, it will just sterilize the bottom part of the book. I don't want to do it twice. And I just have one UV light. I think I'm gonna still put the UVC light on top and I'm gonna cover every side inside the box with aluminium because aluminium reflects light like a mirror. So I already cut out the box so it's easier for me to piece the aluminium foil. Now I'm gonna measure 659 and I'm gonna spare some until 66. Now I'll we'll measure and cut out the aluminium foil. This is already 66. Now that I have cut out the aluminium, paste it with a duct tape. Now that I finish duct taping the two ends, I'm gonna cover the aluminum foil with duct tape because aluminum foil is really thin. I'll need someone to help me because this is hard to make it in deep. This already know the measurement. I just need to cut three more and paste it just like the first one. The last part. I'm done with covering the box with aluminum. This is why I duck tape them because aluminum is easily torn. Now I'm gonna put it back into a box and I'm using glue gun for this side and for the bottom side I'm using just duct tape. Make sure it doesn't come off. I'm gonna double it with duct tape. The bottom side of the box This is now how my box looks like. So this is the UVC light that I got from my dad's aquarium. I just remembered I don't need this one. So I'm just gonna cut it off. And I just want one side opening. So I'm gonna cut this side and I'm gonna paste this one to this one. I already finished cutting the sides and Making one opening, put the UVC light here. So I'm gonna put my book down here. But still, the bottom part of the book will not be sterilized. I'm thinking about something transparent like this, acrylic. So there will be space between the bottom part of the box and my book. So, the UVC light 
will go to the bottom part of the box and the aluminium will reflect to the bottom part of my book. Is this box safe enough? Hmm. There are some opening parts here. UV light might leak out. So I'm going to use this black plastic so it will cover the top part of the box. I'm done with my box and I add some decorations to it. Now let's try it! It's not safe to look directly into the UVC light, but I have my gear on and I have to open a little to show that my box is working. How long do I have to sterilize my object? It depends on how strong the UVC light is and how far the object and the UVC light. I read that hospitals sterilize surgical instruments for 5 minutes. Since mine is just a UVC aquarium light, I'm thinking about 15 to 20 minutes. How can I improve on my box? First, if I have two UVC light, I would put one at the top and one at the bottom, so it would be stronger. Second, if I have a bigger acrylic, I would put a bigger surface acrylic so I can put more things. Third, if an adult is doing it, the person can use a proper UVC light for sterilizing. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my videos. Stay safe.